Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about news that the brokerage company eToro listing Quant on its platform and that a number of nations may be set to leverage Quant's technology. On the 9th of November, the brokerage company eToro made the QNT token available on its exchange. eToro is one of the largest exchanges for stocks and crypto in the world. The platform currently has over 20 million registered users, with the majority of users being based in Europe. eToro currently offers a number of cryptocurrencies on its platform. This has led to such assets experiencing significant increases to their prices upon their listing on the exchange. eToro's listing of QNT tokens could be big for Quant, namely due to the vast number of active investors which base themselves on the brokerage. With over 20 million individuals actively using the platform, there may be a huge influx in the demand for QNT tokens. With Quant's strong tokenomics, whereby there is a maximum of 14 million QNT tokens available on the market, Increases in demand provided by eToro users may lead to a notable increase in the value of the token. Further to this news, the Quant team and the Digital Pound Foundation announced that Quant's CEO Gilbert Verdian, alongside speakers from Ripple, Electronium and Avalanche will be appearing on a panel at the first Digital Pound Foundation webinar taking place on the 10th of November. The conference will also see the attendance of the Head of Future Technology at the Bank of England, William Lovell. The conference will see discussions surrounding why the UK needs a digital currency and Lovell will also be giving the perspective of the Bank of England as to whether the UK needs a digital pound. Quant's involvement in the potential development of a UK CBDC makes abundant sense, namely due to the revolutionary technology Quant Network provides, most notably its Overledger innovation. Overledger provides the ability for interoperability between blockchains, blockchains and legacy systems, and between legacy systems. The active interoperability provided by Quant will provide the potential for the active interconversion of CBDCs. This will enable the proactive interoperability between varying CBDC platforms. Quant Network's innovative technological features has led the project working alongside the Inter-American Development Bank Group in an alliance known as LAC Chain, which is geared towards developing a Latin American digital dollar. This initiative is primarily aimed at improving remittance payments between payers in the US to payees in Latin American countries which use the dollar as legal tender. Quant Network's expertise and direct involvement in CBDC developments would be highly resourceful, especially in instances where the foundation conducts research and development for a digital pound. Further to the LAC chain initiative, Quant Network has actively conversed with a number of financial institutions and even governments in regards to the connectivity of networks via Quant's overledger. One of Quant's primary goals is to become a hub which enables connectivity between the US, China, Latin America, the UK and Europe to interoperate digital assets and cross-border transactions. Such discussions has also led to countries approaching the DLT company to use Quant's overledger to enable data marketplaces for all their citizens to interoperate and transact identity and data domestically and across the ecosystem for cross-border transactions. With a number of organizations and nations looking to actively leverage Quant's network for a number of use cases, if an organisation or nation wishes to leverage Quant's overledger, such entities would have to pay a licensing fee which would be directly paid to the Quant treasury in the form of QNT tokens. QNT tokens used to purchase the annual licensing fees will be locked in the Quant treasury for 12 months. This factor will lead to the depreciation of the circulating supply of QNT tokens. In return, developers in this case, nations or organizations will have access to Quant Network. Quant's CEO, Gilbert Verdian, has openly spoken about the degree by which large entities have conversed with Quant and have openly leveraged Quant's technology. It's really that easy. And, so, yeah. Gil, why aren't, why aren't you even more known globally, not just in the crypto sector, but in the mainstream sector? Because a lot of your business is not in the crypto scene. Yeah, we... We operate mainly in, in the enterprise space and, and in government. And, and so a lot of the clients we work with don't publicly go out and talk about what they're doing because they don't want their competitors to know. And, and so that's just the nature of technology. You're not going to go and say you've got the latest and greatest, fastest engine in your car for the competitor to go and buy the same engine and then they can compete against you. So mm. so, so we've been working very – I mean, we, we, we have – 
you know, to state 70 deals in our pipeline with different clients, huge multinationals globally, not, not okay. just in Europe. Wow. Not in Let's the stop you there. 70, did you say? Yep, 70. And they're in the and pipeline so, that are unsigned as yet, uh, aside from all the ones you already have. Yeah, so they're, yeah, exactly. So they're, they're customers, we're meeting, progressing, you know, giving them the technology, doing the proofs of concepts, working with what, what they're trying to solve and working with them. With Quant directly conversing and potentially partnering with large corporations around the world, Quant may become a pillar in development surrounding initiatives such corporations partake in, namely interoperability. With Quant and in extension Overledger becoming protected by a number of patents, Quant's revolutionary technology, coupled with the multitude of protective measures in place, prevents rival DLT projects using Quant's technological concepts. DLT projects will need to follow different parameters to achieve the same degree of interoperability provided by Quant. This factor would ensure Quant remains the go-to platform to induce interoperability be it in cases of CBDCs, corporate activity, blockchain interoperability or interoperability between legacy systems. What are your thoughts on Quant's listing on eToro? Could Quant be a powerhouse in CBDC developments? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.